I got Professor Lee's piece, I was nervous because it's a huge challenge. It's a difficult piece to sing technically, but it sets the text really well. He writes really well for voice. Not every composer can do that, um, can write that well for the voice so that you really understand every word and every phrase makes sense. Writing a song cycle, you, you, need, you, know, you need words. So Mary and I actually talked about what, what we should use. I said that Mary, you, know, you should choose something that you're simpatico with. Uh, so she came up with some names like Walt Whitman and other people. And I said, you know, I think you should choose a woman poet. I mean, you're a woman, you're going to be singing it. So it should be about, you know, you know, yourself. Maybe something that comes from deep inside you. In the moment of performance, I feel that the poetry is what I'm trying to get across to the audience. I want them to understand it. Um, and they'll, they'll receive the music in their ears because it's there. It's done. I don't need to recompose it as I sing it. I just need to express um, what I think the words mean within this framework of, of the music itself. I'm, I'm not an avant-garde composer. I don't do things like John Cage or Stockhausen or Milton Babbitt. John Cage uses chants. He, he will throw a dice and the dice will tell him what, what the next movement should be like. Um, I, I'm very conservative. I, I really, I think musical language is a vernacular. You know, it's vernacular. You can't really pin him down. I think the hardest thing to decide with Tom is what niche to put him in. And it's just, you can't do that. He, he is, uh, has such a broad command of sort of the, the classical tradition as, as it's developed in the 20th century. It's too simple to say an eclectic approach because that sort of minimizes it, but it's just the idea that he brings the language that's appropriate to what he wants to convey. And his personality is just in the music. It's, it's, it's very direct. It's got a subtle wit. I also appreciated the fact that he didn't write for me as if I'm a student of his. He wrote for me as if I'm a professional singer, which I am. So it was nice that he, he took me seriously. I work on a, with a computer. You know, a computer doesn't make music. Then to have a really beautiful voice, sing the music, and make it come alive, it's, it's a wonderful experience. I think that's the reason why I write music. Mm -hmm.